I am officially declaring today National Pity Day because we are not only reviewing an amazing pity, Sweet Tea, but we will be comparing her to about every single other pity in the entire universe of cars. So stay tuned for that. That'll be a lot of fun. But anyways, guys, welcome back to another video here on the Disney Docket channel. Of course, we got Sweet Tea and Guido today. This two pack came out of the Case P unboxing I did a few days ago. So check out that video if you missed it or if you just wanna watch it again. That'd be sweet in the link in the description or the card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner came from Get Me Collectibles, who is a great seller and his info is in the description as well. So before we start the review here, I want to read a little bit about Sweet Tea from the Meet the Cars book who I feel like we need to give more attention to in my reviews, or at least I should. I should always see first if there have or they have a bio in the book, and then I'll read it to you guys because I think it's an important aspect to their character. So for Sweet Tea here, as Louise Nash's former pity, I didn't even know that. Sweet Tea knows all about fighting hard to prove that women deserve their fair shake in the racing world. Fair share, fair shake, that's kind of strange. When Louise retired, she discovered she had a singing voice as smooth as freshly laid asphalt. She now spends her time belting out country classics at the cotter pin, and she is a sugar matic forklift. There's her artwork, which is actually quite a bit different from the artwork they ended up using for the package here. So that's very cool. I didn't even know that she was Louise Nash's pity. So that's really sweet. We'll have to compare the two later on in the video. So there's a nice picture of her jamming out there in the microphone, which is actually included. We just have Solo Guido. I do wish they also included Luigi. I mean, this feels very unsubstantial for a two pack. I mean, it's so light. Whereas, you know, with like Junior Moon and Eli Turnpike, that was a heavy, really well-designed two-pack. But you have some choking hazards up here. They are in the Collar Pin series. Friends of the late, great, fabulous Hudson Hornet gather at the Collar Pin. And you have a nice prototype stock image of the two. So Sweet Tea looks very different. You can see there, her expression is quite a bit different from how it actually ended up being with the eyes there. There's a picture of the neon sign for Collar Pin Bar and Grill. Pretty sweet, I like it a lot. So I'll be right back with this two pack all opened up. So here they are out of the package and they look awesome. I'm really happy about this pity. Just like I said, I think it isn't quite worth that like $8 price tag since you're only getting two pities and an accessory, but it is what it is. So of course, sweet tea, I always want to say sweet pea, but of course, as we ran the bio, singer at Cotter Pin, Luigi and Guido were enamored by her. They absolutely loved her as McQueen and Cruz were in there talking to Smokey, Louise, and Junior and River Scott. So there's a couple pictures from the movie. Maybe they'll even come out with her band. That'd be really, really cool. Unfortunately, I don't quite remember the name of her band, but I know they do have a name. So before we get into Sweet Tea, this is a Thailand Guido, Thailand Guido, compared to the China version. So this is my first Guido from Thailand out of the package. And you guys, I don't know if you guys know or have seen a comparison before, but either way, I wanted to show you guys. A little different, but really not that different at all. The eyes are certainly grainier though. Unfortunately, the forks are also a little different color. Anyways, we're not here for Guido. I'm not even putting him in the thumbnail. Sorry, Guido, you've been reviewed tons of times on my channel. But anyway, getting into Sweet Tea here, we're gonna start with the boring microphone. So even though this is now from Thailand, it is almost identical to the previous microphones released. So this one here on the left came with Miles Axelrod. 
And it was literally just Miles Axelrod with microphone from 2015. I mean, yeah, a little different, a little different coloring. There's that little speck on the back of the Thailand one there that we don't see on the China one. Nothing on the bottom. And same thing with the microphones that came with Bob Cutlass and Daryl Cardship in the early 2017 two-pack. So yeah, all pretty much the same. It's a nice inclusion though, for sure, even though we've gotten now four of them over the course of four years. But anyway, getting into the bread and butter of this review, sweet tea. So I love the expression, you know, obviously made to seem like she's really singing and she's really into it, having a great time there at the collar pin. Just that expression is fantastic, gives a lot of character. Now there's a couple pieces going on here. There's like this piece, which is not attached to this piece. These, I think, are both metal though still. Her forks do not move and they're plastic. She's got this nice, interesting kind of hat up here. Kind of, this seems like it moves, you know? Doesn't that look like a moving part there? But I don't think it does. It is plastic though. But yeah, it's kind of like one of those, I don't know, apron type things, bandanas you would put in your hair. So something like that for cars. I love her nice, simple, classic paint job. Very 1950s-esque. That nice little orange stripe there, little gray stripe there. Her rims are also something to take note of. Very well detailed there with the orange. On the back here, she does have a little decal that says Floyd with a heart through it and a wrench or a heart with a wrench through it says Floyd. Not sure if that pertains to her band. Again, I forgot the name. Sorry about that, but it might be. Either way, nice decal. Got a couple of vents back here, some iron markings, taillights, a little bumper. And my favorite decal is that sweet tea one right there in cursive. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. If it wasn't so grainy though, it would be better. Thailand definitely kind of screwed that one up. Here is the base. Nothing much on the base, that's interesting. They don't even have like a code, a date stamp. Hmm. Not even made in Thailand, wow. Haven't seen a base like that in years. I mean, even Guido, they're able to squeeze on there. Mattel made in Thailand. Wow. That's so strange. You wouldn't even know in the future that this was made by Mattel by looking at it. Wow. It's ridiculous. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Actually, what am I doing? We got to compare her to all the pities and, of course, Louise Nash. So you can even see that their paint jobs are kind of similar. I don't know if that was just by coincidence or if they actually intended on doing that from the very start. But either way, it's a nice connection between the two. It really ties the whole universe together. So that's really cool. Just imagine her changing tires like that. But anyways... I do want to compare her to a bunch of pitties, even though she is unique to her own model. So here you have Nat McLugnant, I believe. One of the airport pitties from Cars 2. Cardinal Angelo, maybe. I feel so bad about myself. I'm forgetting some of the names of these guys. I mean, whenever they release these pitties, it's always like, you know, Nat McLugnant and somebody else. I forgot the other name. Cardinal Angelo, I forgot the other name. I do know this guy though, Zen Master Pity with mustache. Fought a long battle to get the mustache version, I'll tell you that. Alex Makino here, who's actually a Thailand variant in this case. Well, this is the Chinese version, but you guys know what I mean. Sal Macchiani, not really a pity, but still. Got sushi chef. Now I do remember both these guys' names: Edamami Sashimi and da Daishu Sashimi. Oh my gosh, Edamami and Daishu and Sashimi is one of the last names. I know they're not brothers. Gosh, I feel so bad about myself. But yeah, those are the two sushi chefs. I just brought out one. We have Uncle Topolino's band member with the tuba. This guy was never named, so I get a pass on him. Oh my gosh, how can I forget this guy's name? Oh my gosh, I feel so bad about myself. I need a refresher in everybody's name. Again, this was a little two-pack pity set that was, I think it was either M&M &M or A&A. &A, like two M's or two A's. Dang it. Marco and 
Marco and Marangelo. <laughs> Dang it, I feel so bad. This guy's Eddie though. I know Eddie from Heavy Metal Mater. One of the coolest pitties in my opinion. I should know the name of this one because she was just released. Bryn Imager from Taco Mint. Jessica GM Petrol from the 2013, 2014 actually, Mel Dorado Show Series. Oh, can't show that one. Anyways, that is all the pities I brought out. I think that's quite a long field, quite a broad field of pities. I feel so bad about forgetting some of their names though. And here's actually Uncle Topolino, just to give you some scale, since Uncle Topolino is really small. And it makes it look very strange that a pity is bigger than an actual car. But anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on sweet tea. Don't say sweet pea like I sometimes probably did throughout this video. Great pity. Great release from Mattel. Just wish that, first of all, the decals weren't as grainy. And second, that they included Luigi or maybe some sort of other accessory, at least, to make it a little bit more worthwhile. But thank you, guys as always for watching. I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye now.